Hi everyone, uh, today in this video clip we will be going through a new topic that is on application to differentiation. And this actually is the first video clip under this topic which I will be going through on tangents and normals to a curve. Now basically given a function fx Okay, we have actually learned in the previous chapter how we actually find the gradient of the curve at a particular point. Okay, which means trying to differentiate a function and then substitute a particular value to it. So suppose this point x is a and the y value is f of a. Okay, so the gradient at this particular point, let's call this point p. Okay. Okay, gradient of the curve, y equal fx at the point p is given by first you differentiate this function which is f prime of x, then you substitute x equal to a into the gradient function. So there is f prime of a. Then at the same time, this line is actually passing through the point a and f a. So you can find the equation of this tangent line. Okay, and how do we go about finding the equation of this tangent line? We can say y minus f a over x minus a equals f prime a. Okay, and then rearranging it, you have y minus f x. Sorry, y minus f a equals to f prime a times x minus a okay and of course this becomes y to f prime a x minus a plus f of a okay this is actually the equation of the tangent at the point P, which is at A, F, A. Now, how do we find the equation of the normal now? The normal basically is the line that is perpendicular to the tangent. Okay. To find the equation of the normal, what we are going to do is the following. First, looking at the gradient of the normal. Okay, that will be given by negative 1 over f prime of a. Oh, that is the gradient of the normal. Okay, knowing the gradient of normal now, as well as knowing that the normal passes through the point a and f a, will allow me to find the equation of normal, which is y minus f of a over x minus a equals to minus 1 over f prime of a. And rearranging it, we have y equals to f of a minus 1 over f prime of a multiplied by x minus a. Okay. Now this one will be the equation of the normal. At the point p which is a Okay. Then in the next video clip, we will be going through some work examples on how we can find the equation of tangent and normal to the curve. With that, thank you.